All right, hello guys. In this video, we're going to be talking about my July 2019 forecast. We're going to be going over the temperature forecast, precipitation forecast, and overall forecast right after the intro here. So stay tuned. Before I get started with this video, I'd ask that you please do subscribe. I make a lot of monthly forecasts like this, seasonal forecasts, all sorts of long range forecasts, as well as forecasts for events that are happening currently like hurricanes, severe weather, or even winter storms as we get into the winter months. So there's gonna be a lot of forecasts coming up like that. And I highly recommend you subscribe if you do enjoy weather related content. Now, first things first, we're going to be looking at your temperature forecast, and you can see for the two coasts, we're really seeing above average temperatures there. For, so for California, Washington, Oregon, and into some of the Rockies, we're going to be seeing a slight chance at above average temperatures. And you can see that's the first shade of yellow that I have there up on the top bar there. So it's really a, a slight chance at this, so this could really change for some of these areas. But for the most part, these areas look to be above average temperatures, and we've been seeing this kind of temperature pattern persist for months and months now actually since I think September of 2018 we've been seeing this kind of horseshoe shape with the temperatures for the most part there has been some months where this hasn't shown up but really this has pretty consistently shown up again not every month but for some of the months uh, within that region or region of time we've seen we've seen a lot of this show up a lot of temperatures that looks quite like this the horseshoe shape with colder temperatures in the middle that extends through the four corner states and down into Texas and then some of the coastal Gulf states as well including Florida Georgia South Carolina and then mid-Atlantic so North Carolina up through New Jersey and Pennsylvania we're going to be seeing that above average temperature as well and then for your New England states we're going to be seeing that as well as upstate New York that slight chance at above average temperatures now we're going to see below average temperatures there for Oklahoma up through the Dakotas, Minnesota, and then some of the, the Great Lakes states as well, Wisconsin and Michigan being included in that. Again, that's our first shade of blue, so that's going to be another slight chance at that temperature anomaly there. So slightly below average temperatures for this region could be pretty strong, but the chance is slight at this, and we're not too too confident in, in how below average it's going to be. But we, do, we are pretty confident in this horseshoe shape uh, in some sort of fashion now we did see this this sort of setup for june as well so this does look a lot like june and we do see this back-to-back -back pattern uh happen quite a bit as i've been doing the monthly forecast since i think august and i've seen back-to-back -back things like this happen a lot now we're going to move on to your precipitation forecast and you can see not a lot is going on in the summer months it's kind of hard to forecast the precipitation forecast because there's a lot of isolated events a lot of scattered events and that could really change you know just for a, a select few counties within these regions. But I think for the most part, we're gonna see below average precipitation there for Oregon and Washington, or slightly below average precipitation, as well as for Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. Now we're gonna see above average precipitation there for some of the Rockies in through the Dakotas, or the Southern Dakota, at least, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Northern Texas, Missouri, and Iowa as well. I think we will be seeing above average precipitation for the most part. So expect some scattered thunderstorms within this area. Again, not every county is gonna have above average precipitation, of course, but uh, a select few counties, or most of the counties within that should be seeing uh, a little bit more precipitation than you're used to. Now, we're going to move on to our overall forecast. Again, like I always say, this is my favorite uh, map to make because it, is, it just looks so beautiful being able to put like a bunch of random colors on there. It's kind of like a canvas, and I just paint it with a bunch of colors, and it makes for a great thumbnail as well. Now, we're going to be seeing dry conditions again for w Oregon and Washington as well as Texas through Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. Uh, we saw that on the precipitation forecast. And then warmer than normal conditions there for Idaho, down through Nevada, California, and Arizona. And also uh, warmer than normal conditions for Texas through the Gulf states, up through the mid-Atlantic states, and then up into New England as well. So up the entire East Coast. We're going to be seeing above average uh, temperatures most likely. Now, we're going to be st seeing stormy conditions from Montana down through w Wyoming into Nebraska and South Dakota, and that extends actually into some of the, the Great Lakes states there. But for the Great Lakes, I decided to put below average temperatures because I think that's going to be the most noticeable thing going on there for those northern states. Minnesota down through Iowa, Missouri, and again into the into the Great Lakes states, we're going to be seeing below average temperatures, and that should be quite noticeable. Uh, it's not going to get too warm for most of the time. There should be some warm-ups at some points, but for the most part, it should be pretty cold. Now, severe thunderstorms look pretty possible here for Oklahoma through Arkansas into Tennessee, Kentucky, 
West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York, and Ohio. That's just because that's kind of the divide between the two temperatures. We have about warmer than normal conditions to your south and colder conditions up to your north. So the chance for severe weather looks kind of elevated there. So we should be seeing a little bit more severe weather than we're used to. Might not be too noticeable, but there should be a few events of at least some slight events at severe weather. Maybe some enhanced risks as well uh, with the two temperatures again uh, being divided like that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I have our next fall forecast coming up uh, as well as uh, I think maybe that maybe that's it, actually. So maybe I'll update the hurricane forecast, give you guys an update on what, what the hurricane season looks like since it's been a month. I don't know, but I have a few seasonal or monthly forecasts coming up very shortly. So make sure you subscribe for that. Anyway, guys, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great month.